Hi there, so my band has a gig tonight. <laughs> And so I thought that this would be a great opportunity to actually capture what I do to prepare for a gig as a guitarist in a cover band. The things that I do as far as dealing with nerves, the things I do as far as preparation for songs or new songs or even songs that you already know that you may forget parts of. Also equipment failures, what I do to ensure that I have a trouble free gig. And I'll show some other behind the scenes stuff, possibly a quick clip of me loading the car, um, lug in at the venue, on stage setup, uh, maybe a little bit of sound check, I don't know. Uh, us playing some songs, uh, some crowd response, and possibly lug out even. And uh, tonight we're actually playing at a hotel. So we'll be playing on the same level as the crowd. There's no stage as such. So it'll be interesting. Uh, I'll try and give you some tips and tricks and things that I do in preparation and uh, we'll see what happens. So generally what happens is the lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist Brendan will send through a set list a couple of days before the actual gig. And this will generally be the set list for the night. It may change a little bit here and there, but generally it's almost set in stone. And it's based off of a large group of songs that we already generally know, or songs that we've been working on. And some of the songs may have a question mark next to them, and that question mark just means, you know, we might play this tonight if we're ready for it. Like if everybody feels confident enough to actually play the song, will go through and play the new song. So once I've actually got that set list, I'll go over it and pick out songs that I need to work on possibly, or songs that I'm thinking that I may forget a small part in, or maybe a solo that I feel that I want to work on, uh, just to build confidence. And that's what it's all about. I mean, you can know the song roughly and probably bluff your way through it, but if uh, nerves are a problem for you you may want to make sure that you know what you're playing because when you know what you're playing and you've thoroughly like rehearsed it uh, you're less likely to get nervous and if you do get nervous you can always just not look at the crowd and concentrate on your playing at that moment or at that point in time until you get comfortable again and it happens to people from time to time it even happens to me every now and then. It often happens in the lead up to a solo because I know that the pressure's on me a little bit more. It probably really isn't, but it feels like it is to you. And uh, and in the moment, you know, you get you can get a little bit shaky or a little bit nervous. So I've gotten off to a late start this morning, but that's okay because I've had gigs over the last few weeks and I'm not feeling too rusty, but I'll still go over a few things. And what I actually do is I have the song list in one monitor or I could easily do it all on one monitor. You just have the song list in uh, one window and then you have like YouTube or whatever medium you want to use to actually rehearse the songs in the other window. So on this one I have the song list over here and I'll look the songs up on YouTube over here and actually play through them. So this is generally what I use to rehearse with. It's a Zoom G 9.2 TT. It's pretty old now, I've had it for five or six years. But it's what I rehearse with. Uh, and it's already connected to the computer. It's already connected to my sound system. The sound from the computer goes straight through it. The guitar can plug straight in and everything gets mixed in together and I hear it through the sound system. It's got a bunch of effects I can get access to quickly. It's not my guitar rig, but it's easier than setting up a guitar rig and packing, packing up the guitar rig uh, just to rehearse with. Now my guitar rig's just behind me, it's packed up ready to go, and uh, it'll go straight in the car and be ready to set up. But I might get it out just to check over a few things in a little while after I finish rehearsing. Thank you. 
there's three sets tonight. Uh, it's a three hour gig. And I've rehearsed two of the three sets. So it's at this point I have a bit of a rest, have something to eat, have something to drink, and just relax, take a break from playing and practicing and get all revved up to finish up the last set and there's a few extra songs as well that may crop up and I'll have a look at those as well but I'll just chill out and have something to eat watch some TV and in about half an hour I'll get back into it so it's about 1.30 now so it's taken me about an hour and a half just to go over the first two sets which is probably about right <laughs> So I have finished practicing and now I need to restring my guitar and I need to do it in a hurry because we're leaving in about an hour. So I need to restring the guitar and uh, make sure I've got everything I need and pack the car, get ready myself all within an hour. Uh, the reason I'm restringing my guitar now is because about probably every third uh, gig I change my strings as long as the gigs are fairly close together if they're a bit further apart I'll probably change them more often and that's just something I do to avoid string breakages while playing uh, I've had in six years two string breakages six or seven years I've had about seven two string breakages and usually the reason they break is I didn't change the strings and I got lazy so I'm going to do it now. I'm sure you want to see somebody changing a set of strings. In case you haven't seen me do it before, uh, you can watch uh, my video where I, or part two video where I repair my strat, uh, this particular strat, and you can see me restring it there. Uh, the basics of it are. Uh, I use Diodario 9 to 42s. I don't use the string tree. I've got locking tuners uh, that are staggered. And I also wind uh, a few extra wraps on the E1 uh, just to get it lower, just so I get the brake angle pretty good over the nut. And that's the gist of it, really. So, yeah, I'll get this thing restrung and then we'll move on to the next thing. Uh, one thing that I normally do when I restring is I use a HB pencil and I actually put a little bit of pencil lead into the nut slots. You just kind of rub the pencil against the edge of the nut slot a little bit and it just puts a little bit of graphite in there and that is a great lubricant and helps the strings move freely over the nut. Uh, I've actually got that in another video somewhere. The other thing I highly recommend if you're gigging or even if you're just rehearsing, always carry a spare set of strings in your guitar case, always. If you get a breakage, you can always put another string on and then replace the rest of the set, uh, you know, after the gig or after the rehearsal. Another thing, I normally cut these ball ends off as I go. Um, I heard a rumour when I first started playing guitar that I should leave them on until I've got the string actually in tune or the guitar in tune and then trim them off uh, in case I break a string and I can wind the string around the ball end or something. I don't see the point in that, it'll never stay in tune the same and 
I've never had one do it anyway, I've never had one break. So once you've got the guitar tuned and tune it as you would hold it, uh, I normally just give the strings a bit of a bend. Because as you can see, they go out of tune pretty quick when they're fresh. So the sooner you get that process out of the way, the better. So I'll tune it again. Okay, and we're in tune again. Let's drift it a little bit again. But this will probably be the last time. Now I'll normally obviously tune up before I play. So I'll tune it up again and then I'll probably put it back in the case, give the strings a wipe down. Uh, something I want to uh, bring to your attention, um, I don't know whether I'll mention it uh, actually at the gig, but before you tune up your guitar to play uh, like in front of everybody warm the strings up first just hold them with your hands a little bit and kind of warm them up because if you tune up uh, the strings cold and you put your hands on them within about 30 to 40 seconds uh, those strings will actually go a little flat and you'll need to tune up again so I normally warm them up a little and then actually tune the guitar and uh, play for a little bit and just check that everything's good and then I run with that. Okay, so I've tuned it up again and I'm putting it in the case. Give the strings a bit of a wipe down. Also give it a bit of a clean up while the strings were off, which doesn't hurt to do. It's a good opportunity to do such a thing. And now I will close the case up. and I'm pretty much ready to go. I'll have a quick look at my pedal board, but other than that, we should be good to go. So here's my pedal board as it stands these days. It's a little bit different to what even the last update video was, probably 2014. Uh, I've got an auto wire now, or, and uh, but I think everything else was either on there in some way, shape or form. Oh, and uh, I've got a boost now as well. Uh, just to get over the uh, rhythm guitar in solos. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. And I'll give you a closer look at that, probably at the gig. There's my tube uh, distortion pedal. That's like the front end of a JCM 800 a little. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's the guts of my clean sound, that, that, and uh, the chorus patch 61 in a midi verb 2 um, a fuzz pedal that I built so there you have it so I just realized I left my Wawa plugged in uh, here uh, over the last week since my last gig and I'm a bit worried that the battery might be flat so I'm actually going to test that out. No, seems to be fine. Cool. So I have put the lid back on the pedal board, sat it down with the rest of the gear on the floor here. I had to go and clean myself up, have a shave, have a wash, get dressed, all that fun sort of stuff. Uh, there's the gear, just there, pedal board, amplifier in that road case and speaker cab. So I'm gonna go and get ready and I will see you after that. So now I'm packing the car.
ready to clean up the shine. Stand. Titles and um, I don't really take a spare guitar. I don't feel like there's a need for me to carry a spare guitar. I've never had that big of an issue ever. Where I've needed to use a second guitar so I'll catch you later. So now we're on the way to the gig. We've got about I don't know a 50 minute drive from where we are now. About 15 minutes in something like that. Anyway I'll we'll see you on the other side at the venue. Plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> 